Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna bring you guys along to do some grocery shopping and then share my haul. And then we're gonna get all of the grocery items put away and organized. So if you guys are needing lots of organization, motivation, you're definitely gonna get that in today's video. And if you're just curious to see what we're eating this week and what I'm currently buying, make sure you watch this video all the way through. So I just got in the car, we're gonna head off to a Walmart. Hopefully it's not insane, it's probably super busy, but it is what it is. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon. Normally I go at like seven in the morning, but I just wasn't feeling it this morning. So I just took a shower, got ready, and now we're off to Walmart. Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about The things you say prefer self-checkout I love scanning and bagging my own groceries I'm just so picky about the way things are bagged I really feel like ever since I worked at a grocery store as a teenager my bagging instincts always just kick in and there's just I prefer it my way let me know down in the comments if you go through your self-checkout or if you have the cashier scan all of your stuff We are back from the store, you guys. This is an overview of everything I got. I spent $300 exactly. I think it was like $2.99 and some change. So you might as well round it off. I have everything all laid out in sections. That way I can put it away easier. Now, if I'm not filming a grocery haul, usually I just put the stuff away directly. But when I fill my hauls, this is just easier for me to put everything away. I put it in sections and all in the categories that it needs to go. So starting off some of the frozen stuff that we have i just grabbed one bag of the cooked shrimp just the small size ones and then a bigger bag of some tilapia and then one big bag of the tyson grilled chicken strips this is really easy for quick salads or if we're making like quick dinners it's just so much easier when you have the quick way these were some new burgers that I haven't seen on our mama before. So I grabbed these so we could either throw them on the grill or just have burgers one night. Some blueberries. I always get these frozen. We've been loving these for blueberry waffles and then I like them for my smoothies. They did not have like no type of frozen fruit for my smoothies, you guys. This was the only other kind that they had. Um, here's a little fun fact about me. Well, I guess it's not fun. I'm actually allergic to strawberries, so I really wish they sold the berries without the strawberries in it, but they don't, so I have to take them out because if I eat strawberries, yeah, it's not good. My throat closes up, my lips swell up, yeah, it's bad, but I can do with taking the fruit out of it. I just can't actually eat it. Maybe if I eat like one, one or two doesn't really do anything, but I'm, yeah, I'm allergic to strawberries, so I really hate how I can't buy the berries in my area, just like the mixed berry without the strawberries. I wish there was a way. I don't like to buy these type of things fresh because I feel like I don't eat them that way, so I just get them frozen. This was something I wanted to try for the kids. I've seen a couple other people share these, and I thought that this would be so cool instead of me making a huge cake. There are the little cake cups. So they had a couple of different kinds. I just grabbed two of the astronaut ones, the galaxy, and then two unicorn ones. The kids are so excited to try these. I'll let you guys know how they end up liking these or how these work out. They were $1.50 each. And then I grabbed some two packs of some spaghetti noodles. I was completely out of those. This was something new. I figured the kids would probably love this. It's the Funfetti 
pancake mix though. So this will be perfect for waffles or pancakes and I like how it already has all the stuff in it. So this was something new and fun. I know the kids are gonna love those for breakfast. We've been obsessing over these cookies and creams pop tarts. I've never bought them as many times as I buy pop tarts and Lakin is like, and he loves pop tarts. We never tried the cookies and cream. I grabbed these like a week or so ago when I was in Big Lots, just a small box, and we like all ate them, even Khalif. So I grabbed two boxes of these, you guys. They probably will last us a week. We'll see how long we last with those. Then some uh, more kind of um, pantry items. I just grabbed two things of the family size mashed potatoes, our favorites. A box of Cheez-It. These are hands down my favorite ones. I love the Parmesan and the Sharp Cheddar Duo. Our ramen noodles. Two things of muffins for the kids. So these are just the Paw Patrol ones. I think these are so cute. They eat them either way, but I, I'm extra and I just get them because they're cute. But they'll eat the other ones. But they, they like chocolate chip ones and they like the blueberry. A couple different pastas that I grabbed. So two boxes of the bow tie and then one of the penne. I grabbed one of these butterfly shrimps. So this is a family size. I figured this would be really good for a quick dinner with like some sweet potato fries or mashed sweet potatoes. My guacamole, the one I usually get that's about half the price. They were completely out of it. So this was $5. I didn't want to get it, but when I buy the big thing of guacamole, it goes bad. It's because a lot of the things that I buy, if it's just the stuff that I like and no one else will eat it, I'd rather buy it individual than getting a whole thing because if it's just me, it's no point. I'm wasting money because it goes bad. Two packs of hot dogs for the kiddos. Some chocolate chips. I want to add these in like pancakes, all that good stuff. Maybe make some cookies one night. I have two bags of the goldfish. I haven't bought goldfish in a long time. When I grabbed these, I was like, wow. I have not bought the kids goldfish in like a month or more. I keep forgetting honey. I was so glad that I finally remembered some honey because I like honey in my smoothies and I just like to have it for tea and stuff like that. I grabbed two cans of the Tyson grilled white chicken. This is gonna be for me to make some chicken salad for work. Two uh, cans of the petite diced tomatoes. I personally like this one because it has the garlic and hold on get it to focus it has the garlic and olive oil in it this is personally my favorite my favorite seasonings i grabbed another one of the garlic salt and i always swear by this any of my cooking videos i always am using this stuff this stuff is so good you guys are going to hear samir in the background you guys know what it is it's, it's real mom life over here samir always has to make his presence known two things of some pasta sauce some good old cereal bars. I think I already have some in our pantry. Some crackers. Our cereal, so cinnamon toast, trunk, cinnamon toast crunch and frosted flakes. And then some sugars. I got some light brown sugar. I was pretty low on this. I grabbed one bag of flour and then just some regular white sugar. We were almost out of ketchup, so I just picked up a thing of ketchup. Some of my savory beef gravy. I'm going to make my pot roast. And if you guys watched one of my videos, I shared how I make my pot roast. And I use the beef gravy. It's my favorites. One package of cheese. My Holy Grail <laughs> wing seasoning mix. You guys definitely need to try this stuff. And it's only 94 cents. They also have an Enjerk, teriyaki, a whole bunch of other flavors. But this one is one of my favorites. Two things of some real bacon bits. Some chicken I grabbed, so these are actually a ton in here. This was $7.87, and then this one was $7.90, so this will be two different meals, um, but there's quite a bit in here. Like, this is jam-packed, so I grabbed two of those. I did pick me up a roast. I feel like I have one in my deep freezer, but I did, wasn't sure, so I just grabbed one. A couple different cheeses, so I got two mozzarella, and then uh, my Kobe Jack mixture. One thing of eggs. I grabbed these for the kids, just some um, Go-Gurts. They love Go-Gurts, especially like in an Ellie. Then of course, you know, if you're if you're an OG watcher here, you'll know that my kids love these things. These are like in every grocery haul. Some cookies, two different things of donuts. So I just got the donut holes and then some cinnamon ones. So some pantry snacks for them. I grabbed them the Great Value chocolate chip cookies and then some of the Ritz Bits. They love Minion. Those are cute. 
Moving over to the produce section, I grabbed one bag of this. So this is just a steam and savor. I feel like they have creamy textures. I don't know if this one has a packet in it. There's another one that I used to buy. I think it's by, um, I don't know what brand it is, but it has a seasoning packet in it. I don't think this, that this one does, but you can just steam it right in the, the bag in the microwave. Some of my romaine lettuce. I love these wraps. They also have it in the spinach ones, but this is just the tomato basil. Then some more carrots. I grabbed a bag of sweet potatoes. A big old bag of oranges. Tons of bananas for my smoothies, you guys. I'm like trying to get my life together. I love smoothies though, so whenever I try to eat a little bit better, I always usually replace breakfast with like a smoothie, so I like to make them fresh. I grab some green grapes, and then some red seedless grapes. A thing of pineapple that I'm really excited to get that chopped up. And then some of the breads that I grabbed was just some English muffins for some breakfast sandwiches. This was literally the only buns that they had. I know it's nice weather, so everybody's grilling out. There was like no hot dog buns, no hamburger buns, but I just grabbed these Sweet Hawaiians, which we really love these. If you have not tried these, you guys, I highly recommend you try these. These are so good. This was something new that I tried. I've never bought these. They're just some savory garlic knots. They're over in the bakery aisle, in the fresh um, bakery. I think there, it was like three bucks for this bag, so I thought I'd give those a try. Two different bags of chips, just some nacho cheese, and then regular Lay's, and then one loaf of wheat bread. We're going through bread like nobody's business. The kids are loving peanut butter and jelly. And then all of our beverages, I grabbed some of the Yoohoo chocolate milk drinks for the kids, two high C's, and my last grocery haul, I think I had the actual huge pack. I swear I feel like people in my town watch my videos because as soon as I show something new or something I discover, I swear you guys, all of a sudden, I cannot find it in the store. It's never in stock. So back to the individual ones I'm buying. And then some chocolate almond milk. I make a really good um, chocolate banana smoothie using the almond milk. It's so good. I just use some fresh bananas, peanut butter, the almond milk, and a little bit of honey. It is so good, you guys. And then some vanilla almond milk. Lakin asked for some more of these. He's a big boy, you guys. He said he's a big boy, so he, he likes to drink stuff out of the bottle. So I figured I'd grab these for him and Ellie, too. They're just the Sunny D's. And that's everything, you guys. So that sums up this week's grocery haul. A whole lot of food. This should hopefully last us at least two weeks. So what I'm putting away first is just all of the refrigerator items like the milk and some of the other items because I'm solely gonna focus on getting all of my produce prepped and then putting away a lot of the other refrigerator items. We're gonna get those all nice and organized. I am going to film my pantry as its own video because it was just a hot mess and I don't know about you guys but when I do huge grocery shopping it is a job to put all of this stuff away so I was just tired and in between the kids and stopping and going it turned into a two-hour thing after coming home and putting all of the stuff away and getting all of my produce prepped I've been using these cereal containers for quite a few months now. I got them at Walmart. They were under $10. I will have all of the storage containers that I use in this video linked in the description box. So if you're on the hunt for some good containers, I will have all of that stuff linked below for you guys. go ahead and get all of my produce prepped this cool strainer here I got on Amazon and it actually comes with a small mini one I love this thing you can just 
open it up and it just is an over the sink strainer. It's so convenient and it collapses. So it's perfect for easy storage. It's not taking up a lot of space. So what I'm doing is just taking all of my grapes off of this, the rinds and then I'm going to go ahead and spray them with vinegar so I can go ahead and get all of the dirt and all of the ickiness off of there. What I do, I just put vinegar in a glass bottle here and then I'm just going to spray and kind of rub and then I'm going to rinse off with hot water. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me I've been in love with these produce containers These are hands down the truth, you guys. They were, I think I want to say $19 for the pack of two on Amazon. I know a lot of people share produce containers and they're like $40 and up. I got these. I kind of went out of the norm. I didn't get what everybody else was getting and I'm so glad that I invested in this purchase for spending $40. Not saying the other ones aren't amazing, but why spend extra money when you can get something at half the price and it's going to be just as good. When I put my fruit or produce in these containers, no joke you guys, it's lasting for almost two weeks. Especially like my lettuce and stuff like that before you know how it is. After a couple days, it gets wet, it gets icky, but these containers are amazing. So definitely you guys, I would highly, highly recommend these. This is probably one of my best purchases as far as like a kitchen item because they legit keep my produce nice and fresh. More free than I have ever been You broke my chains and released me And they turn into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day these do have airtight container lids so it's going to seal your produce and keep it nice and airtight all of the condensation will collect at the bottom under that tray which is amazing so now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the yogurts organized these containers have been just a lifesaver instead of having the yogurt thrown all over the place and it's easy for the kids to just grab it out so these fits the pack of these danimals perfectly all of them fit in this one tray so i really love these i have a couple of these so depending on if i buy one pack or two normally i have enough to go ahead and stock up and get it nice and organized don't mind the laundry in the back that was another task I'm kinda new with apologies Holding back, I got history This has been another great investment, this water container holder. So this helps us keep the water bottles a little bit organized so they're not falling all over the place. And that way I'm not putting a million in. Before, if you watch some of my older videos, I used to just put all, pretty much the whole case on the bottom shelf. But I'm like, you know what, that's just taking up too much space. We can just refill it throughout the day and it's just worked so much better and it freed up so much more space in the fridge. I like to always get the kids juices all nice and organized too so they can just have some cold juices on deck and then I'm just throwing in any extra stuff I have left over uh, that I didn't have any place for. Now I'm going to go ahead and get all of my veggies prepped. So these carrots, I'm going to go ahead and wash these with my vinegar spray and then rinse them off. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice them up so that way they're all ready to go. I like to take carrots and ranch to work for like a snack. So this just makes it so much easier. So in the mornings, I'm not having to slice up veggies. I can just already have it there, grab it and go. You think that I 
should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. Now these containers don't have the tray on the bottom. This was a set that I bought a little bit ago on Amazon, but I really love these two because they are airtight. Before I used to store a lot of my produce in there, but I like to just keep like the other types of fruits and vegetables in there and they work just as good. They just don't have that tray, so it's not going to hold the condensation at the bottom, but I'm sure you can get one of those like produce mats at the bottom and it'll definitely help with that. Tank was so amazed at me slicing up the pineapple. As you can see, he was just standing right there in my way. So I'm getting this all nice and cut up. This was such a good pineapple, you guys. It was so sweet. And I just love taking pineapple or watermelon to work. I don't really buy watermelon like that because it's just me that eats it. So it just gets wasted. But I do love pineapple. I don't buy fresh pineapple all the time. So this was a nice treat for me for the week. That's that little mini strainer, you guys. It's so cute, isn't it? And this sums up today's video, you guys. This is what my fridge is looking like. It's not perfect since I didn't really deep clean it or anything like that, but everything's back in their trays. It's organized. We'll see. This lasts about maybe a day or two before the kids are in here ransacking through everything. I do throw away a ton of boxes. I break it down. This is how many bags I had this particular day after throwing out expired food and just breaking all the boxes down. Thank you guys so much for coming along for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this style of video today and it gave you some motivation to get your groceries put away or some organization motivation. I just hope you guys felt inspired and motivated after watching this. If you are tuning in for the first time, please make sure you subscribe, join the family here. We would love to have you. Until next time, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.